Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Cycle Sinking Chisel. This is our final lower body strength day. How wild is that? You've completed 12 weeks of these workouts. How freaking amazing. Just reflect on that real quick. That's, that's so, so great. Um, there will be another 12 weeks or some length of time coming up here in the near future. So if you'd like to also be a part of that, just let me know. We'll make sure that happens. Uh, but for today, let's wrap it up as strong as we can. Uh, <clears throat> you're familiar with these movements. Um, so just check in with yourself where you are in your cycle. Um, how did you sleep? How have you fueled yourself? Right? All of these things always actually make a direct impact on how we can show up here in our workouts. So just keep that all in mind. Um, for today's workout, you will need a selection of weights. I'll be using mostly kettlebells, uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to. You can also use dumbbells. And you're also going to need that stack of books, right? Preferably, likely two different heights. One that's maybe four to six inches high, and then one that's probably about two inches high, okay? That being said, let's get going. So today we're going to switch up the warm up slightly. And we're just going to begin with some reverse lunges. <clears throat> so, stepping back and bringing it back up to the front. Stepping back and back up to the front. Warming up those knees, your ankles. Perfect. Inhale down, exhale push. Try not to lose your balance like I just did, but if it happens, it happens. Excellent. Inhale down, exhale push. <sighs> Let's get those arms involved a little bit. Coming up to the front as we step back, sliding on back as we stand. Inhale down, exhale, push. Excellent, we're here for about 10 more. Push, perfect. For eight. For six. For four. For three, oops, for two, and one, perfect. Let's take a nice wide stance. We're gonna just slowly sit down to one side, push up to the center. Slow down to one side, to center. Opening up the adductors, your inner thigh line, letting those hips have a little bit of movement. Perfect, and again, still focusing on our ankles here as well. Hips go back, push tall to center. Perfect. Let's do four more. Last two. And one. Perfect. Hands down to the floor. Let's walk back to a plank. <clears throat> From our plank, let's hold here for about 10 more seconds. Then we'll rise up with our hips, pushing back to a down dog. Feel free to walk out your dog when you first get there. Hips go up and back. <clears throat> Again, feeling free to walk out or pedal those feet. <sighs> Bring one heel towards the floor at a time. And then we'll settle back in. <clears throat> Heels reaching towards the floor. We're gonna go ahead and inhale forward to that plank position. Step the right foot forward. Back knee can come down to the floor. Six twists on this side. Twisting through, reaching back up. Twisting through, excellent. We twist through for three, reach on up. Twist through for four, for five. One more right here. Excellent, lifting back up, pushing back to downward facing dog. Heels drive towards the floor. We reach through those shoulders. Big, strong push. Excellent. Pulling forward. Left foot steps up. Right knee down to the floor. Reaching up, starting our twist. Woo! Reaching through. Someone is very, very tight this morning. Wasn't really expecting that. But maybe from a couple of days of travel. Woo! Feeling very tight in my lumbar spine. 
and also my hips. <clears throat> so this is why we do these things. This is why we do these movements almost every single time we go into some of these workouts because they're great assessment tools. How are we feeling on any given day? We might not be fully aware of it <clears throat> as we're just kind of casually moving around. But then when we use these tools to check in, we're like, oh, that's a little bit tighter than it normally is for me. <sighs> Let's walk those feet up. <clears throat> nice wide-legged forward fold. <sighs> From here, coming into Malasana. So sitting nice and deep, using your elbows to help drive those knees out to the sides. Hands to the floor, hips rise up, forward fold. Pulling back down through the center for two. We'll go for six of these. Hips rise up. Pulling down and through for three. Hips are up. For four. Excellent. For five. One more right here. Hips rise up. Come on down. Perfect, let's stand it on up. All right, I think we're gonna be good to go, okay? If you're at home and you feel like you need a little bit more time to warm up, please by all means hit pause. Go ahead and give yourself those extra movements that you need. Otherwise, we're gonna to start to set up for this first round of movements. So, we have <clears throat> deficit reverse lunge into curtsy. Remember, we're trying to hit about eight of those per side. Uh, but you do have 45 seconds to complete all reps on one side <clears throat> before we switch on over to the other side. We then will be going into our half kneeling alternating thrusters, okay? So all in all, we are going to get through four rounds. This is where you want your stack of books, okay? I like to turn it so that my whole foot can be on there. So again, just real quick to review, we might have some weights right here. If we wanted to, we could even have them in the front rack position. That'll definitely load the core a little bit more. So from here, we step back, and then we curtsy. That's one rep, and we have eight of those. Our goal is eight, okay? 45 seconds to do that first side, then we'll switch on over the next 45 seconds to do the other. And then we go into our half kneeling thrusters, where we start with two weights right here. We sit to our heels. As we come up, we press one towards the ceiling, we come back down up and back down, really trying to load the quadriceps and of course working the shoulders just a little bit. Okay, alrighty, let's pull this mat out for some padding for my knees. Have that over here. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get going. First round, we are going for four rounds here. We take off in 13 seconds. Starting up on your step, we take off in five, in three, in two. Here we go. Inhale down and back, exhale push, go into your curtsy. Six seconds left. Woo! There we are. Good morning. We have 10 seconds to rest right here. Getting ready for that other side in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Step it on back. Push tall. As you're going through these, do try to keep some tension through your midline. Come on. Woo! 
great job. We have three, two, one. Half kneeling is next. Taking off in six seconds. Here we go in three, two, let's go. Goal is about eight presses per arm. Come on. Come on. some hydration. Only 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, round two. We take off in seven. Three, two, here we go. Come on. Yes, yes. Take a big inhale, big exhale, other side, three, two, here we go. Good job, come on. Three, three, two, and one. Half kneeling. We have five. Three, two, here we go. seconds. We can get through these two. Okay, let's be nice and strong here. Three, two, let's go. Come on. 
still working, go ahead, rest. Other side, in eight. Four, three, two, here we go. Come on. Seven seconds. So good. Two and one. Second to last time of these. We take off in five. Three, two. Here we go. seconds. Beautiful work. 30 second rest. Last rest. Take some deep breaths into your nose, out through your mouth. 15 seconds again, in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, 10 seconds. Final push of this set, four, three, two, let's go. Seven seconds. Great job. Three, two, one. Set up on that other side. Five, three, two. Here we go. Come on, 10 seconds, so good, three, two, one, here we go, half kneeling, five, three, two, let's go. Goodness. Four, three, two, 
one. Today that cooked me. Man, oh man. In one of the lectures, we discussed this, right? But, so in these 12 weeks, you've really started to discover your cycle, the key steps to balancing out your hormones, blood sugar regulation, caring for your adrenals, making sure your systems of elimination are functioning the way that they should be. And then of course, cycle syncing, right? Eating foods that support you in your cycle, where you are in your cycle, moderating your activities based on where you are in your cycle, right? Knowing when there's a time that like less is actually really beneficial, helps you to actually ramp it up when you come to that next part of your cycle when you can ramp it up. All this to be, all this being said, because this weekend, I basically went off of all of that, right? I threw it all out the window, which is what some of us do when we go on vacation. This was a wedding. I treated it in that way. I treated it as a vacation and kind of just went off, off, off track and it's how I'm feeling it. And this is also, this isn't me shaming myself, but this is <clears throat> a beautiful aspect of supporting our bodies really, really well. Sometimes when we're doing that, we forget how great we feel until we come off of that, that uh, self-care routine and we really notice how shitty we can feel, right? So I'm taking this as a moment to reflect. My recovery is shit. Um, at the end of 12 weeks, I should have the best recovery, right? For it to some degree. Um, and so just a reflection of that, that is all, that's all I'm trying to get at. We really build up our sensitivity. We regain our sensitivity once we get on to a cycle syncing track. All right, so rear foot elevated RDL. Remember with an RDL, we really only need to go to here. It's the moment your hips stop traveling backwards that you make the transition back up, okay? The foot could be up against a wall just like this, could be on the floor in a posted position, or it could be up on a step, up to you. Today we're going to switch up our lunging pattern. So you are going to go forward and then you're going to pivot, okay? So again, forward, this foot stays planted, you pivot away from it. So it's just bringing us into a different plane of motion specifically the transverse plane. Final piece, we have our lateral. Feet are static. We'll go into our lateral side to side lunge. Okay. For your rear foot elevated RDL, you are trying to get in both sides. Don't forget that, <clears throat> okay? Trying to get six to eight per side. All right, ladies, 13 seconds. Weights never touch the floor. We take off an eight. We take off in three, two, here we go. seconds. I might be a little behind here. Finish up your set. We have five. We have three, two, and one. All right, lunge pattern. Forward to a pivot. Three, two, here we go. To the front, pivot away. Back to the front, forward, pivot away. Other side. Twenty four seconds. Thirteen. 
We have five. We have three, two, and one. Feet nice and wide. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Let's try and hit six per side. Relatively straight ahead with the toes. seconds. Ooh. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Great job. Two, one. Here is our 30 second break. Grab some hydration. seconds. Ten. Getting set up. We take off in five. Three, two, here we go. Seconds, come on. Beautiful work. Really great. Forward to pivot. Three, two, here we go. Oops, I didn't switch. Here we go. Come on. We got it. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Come on, ten. Five. Three, two, one. Lateral, static feet, six-ish per side, four, three, two, here we go. Beautiful, come on. Sit those hips back, keep your chest up. Come on. seconds. We have three, we have two, and one. Two more rounds. Here's our 30 second break. set up. Two more rounds. We can do it. Six. Three, two. Here we go. Seconds. 
two, one, forward to pivot, three, two, let's go. Come on, we're almost there. So strong, 24 seconds. Come on, come on, 16. Push, come on. Six, four, three, two, one. Nice deep lateral lunge. Static position. Four, three, two. Here we go. So good. 15 seconds. Let's get set up on that other side or the first side. Last round. Taking off in seven. Here we are in three, two. Let's go. Fantastic. Here we are. Three, two, let's go. Last time. ish seconds remain on this movement stay with it come on final 10 we have six we have three two one all right four three two Let's go.
my goodness. Setting up for our last round of movements. Bring out the big boys. All right, towel in off real quick. Whew. Sweat day. Alrighty, so. Perfect, okay. So, what we are going to begin with is our staggered stance squat, right? So, one foot is right here. Very little weight is on the side. This is more of the working leg. Weight is held here. We sit into a squat. We rise back up. You go to a depth that feels okay for you. For 45 seconds, you're trying to hit both sides. So you do need to move there, okay? Trying to get about eight per side would be wonderful. Okay, then we go into toes elevated deadlift. I'm gonna to choose to do mine RDL style still. So I'm going to basically be stopping right about here coming back up. All right, I'm not going to try to go to the floor. I'm gonna to try to keep hamstrings loaded and really pretty much stop once my hands get right around my knees. Final piece is our hip thrust. I just need to bring this bench out. My pup, Penny, is sleeping on the couch right now. I'm quite envious. Although I'm happy to be here working out with you all, she just looks so cozy. <laughs> like, so, so, so cozy. Okay. So we'll just flip this over and we're good to go. Let's get this. Do we need that? We need that. All right. In this moment right now, I really just want to do three rounds, but I know that last week we did four. So we're gonna stick to four. Let's get it over with. Here we are. Let's make it a clean right here. Rack position, or sorry, goblet position. First side, we take off in three, two. Here we go. Thirteen seconds. Three, two, one. Sliding on out for your hip thrust. Remember, these are meant to be fairly slow. Three, two. Here we go. Posterior pelvic tilt all the way up to the top. Come on. Fifteen seconds. We 
We have four. We have three, two, and one. Thirty second break. Three more rounds. We can do it. RDL or toes elevated deadlift. Five, three, two. Here we go. seconds. Come on, four, three, three, two, one. We can do it. Two more rounds. Certainly challenging today. Take off in four, three, two, let's go.
seconds. Two, one. Let's slide on out. Three, two, here we go. freaking round. We can do it. Let's fire it up. 20 seconds. My body is ready for a stretch and for some coffee. 12 seconds. Six. Last time. Three, two, let's go. Eighteen seconds. Six seconds. Hip thrust. Last time. Three, two. Here we are. are on no matter what you're doing for three two one oh my goodness so good on our backs towel down see as I'm soaking wet so on our backs if you've got a band let's go ahead and grab that we're gonna loop it around the bottom of one foot. Nice static hamstring stretch here. Feel free to bend the knee if that's what feels best for you. We got that recovery breath, right? Quickest way to get into recovery, in through your nose, out through your mouth.
Let's pull that leg across the body first. And then up and across to the same side of the body. And let's switch sides. Strong pull, giving yourself length across the body, and then up and across the same side of the body. through the center, <clears throat> figure four, bringing that ankle over the top of the other knee, reaching through, grabbing the back side of the other leg, giving yourself a gentle pull for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that other side, pulling on in for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rolling on up, <clears throat> wide legged forward fold. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right elbow by your side, tip the ear to the left shoulder for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, through other side, right ear to right shoulder for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, ladies. Leg day is a wrap. Holy shit. Never would I have thought that I would show up to our final leg day as beat up as I as I am. But just goes to show that if you, uh, if you let yourself go for a little bit, sometimes recovery can be a little harder. Anyways, we got it over with. We got it uh, through. Body is starting to flow again, regenerating things that it needs to. Um, if you find yourself in a similar position to me, right, vacation, family stuff, I mean, before we know it, we're gonna be in the holidays, right? Um, there is like a protocol to follow, right? There are, the protocol is know yourself in order to, to treat yourself with love, compassion, kindness, right? You gotta know what is, what are your tendencies? So my tendency is like, I, I'll drink, right? It's unrealistic for me to say that I'm gonna go to a wedding and not drink. So I know I'm gonna drink, so there are steps I can take to help cushion my body for said drinking, right? And I'm not talking binge drinking, I'm just saying like drinking in general, that does have an effect on our body, on our hormones. So there are different supplements I could take. There's a um, protocol that I can follow the day after, like drinking a really great homemade, if you can, not anything that has added sugars or anything, uh, green juice, so celery, one green apple, half a lemon, uh, cilantro, parsley, romaine, and cucumber. Blend that all together and drink that the next day after drinking before every single meal. That's flooding your body with micronutrients plus a ton of hydration. That's just one example, right? But as we get into the holidays, if we don't deal with family well, allocating time for ourselves to, to make sure we have space, right? Anyways, all of these things have been included in this course. If you need to, those slides are always available to you, so just go back through them. And just don't forget, right, moving forward, each cohort that I go into, you will have access to that content. Um, not sure quite yet how the workouts will work, if you'll have full access to those. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll just be a disc content piece, but for the lectures, 
because I continue to learn as I go, I want you to continue to be updated on new findings and whatnot, so you'll be included in that. All right, that's my spiel for today. Fantastic job. Tomorrow is Thursday, 6.30 a.m. We've got upper body push last time through. Let's meet then and crush it. See you tomorrow.